after one year and four months, ma-unbox na din po natin yung aking new Wi-Fi router. Ang tanong, gagana pa ba? At maganda ba talaga ang router na ito for its price? Let's find out! Sa nagkikita po niyo mga katropa, may ngat-ngat na po yan ng daga dahil sa tagal na ngang nakatago. The good thing lang is, wala pong sign na napasok po nila yung box mismo. So far, so good naman and here we go. This is the power adapter. Ito naman po yung manual which is a bit unhelpful dahil nga sa lingwahe hindi po natin maintindihan. At ito na po yung highlight. This is our new Wi-Fi 3 D2 router. Punta naman po natin yung physical appearance. Sa size niya po, it is a 7.5 by 7.5 inches. It's more on a square shape. Meron po itong apat na LAN ports. Gigabit na po lahat yan. At isang one port which is also a gigabit. It also has a power connector. Pero wala po itong power button. Meaning to say, pag saksak po ninyo ng power adapter, it will automatically turn on. Meron itong reset button. USB port and switch. Ang USB port po nito, it is already a 3.0 at meron itong apat na antenas. Sa system specification naman po tayo. It is a dual core processor, 880 MHz. Yung wireless speed niya po ay sa abot po ng 1.2 gigabits per second. It is already a MoMimo router with 512 RAM and 32 MB flash memory. Ito po ang kagandahan ng new Wi-Fi mga katropa dahil mayroon po itong flash memory. Pwede po natin itong ma-flash sa ibang firmware tulad po ng Padavan, GoCloud, OpenWRT at iba pa. Dahil to be honest po, hindi ko po nagustuhan ang stock firmware ng new Wi-Fi. Malalaman po niyo yan mamaya. It is recommended to set up new Wi-Fi using PC or laptop via LAN cable or Ethernet cable. Warning lang po, you have to follow displacements and connections. Dahil kung hindi po magkakaproblema po tayo, lalo na mamaya sa pag-translate po natin ng Chinese to English language ng ating new Wi-Fi dashboard or web admin interface. Now open po tayo ng web browser. Sa web address bar, type lang po natin ang 192.168.99.1 and enter. Normally, ma-redirect po tayo agad sa login page. But for whatever reason, may encounter po niyo ang new internet and this site can't be reached. The first thing we should do is to check our device IP address. In this case, I press the Windows logo plus R for the run command. Then sa run command, tinay po natin yung CMD. Sa command prompt, I type ipconfig. Anong nakikita natin? Our device IP is at ang default, ang, at ang default gateway po natin ay 192.168.1.1. Ang tanong, ang device ba natin at ang new Wi-Fi are on the same network or subnet? The obvious answer to this question is no. Bakit? Dahil Ang device po natin nasa subnet ng 192.168.1.0 while the new Wi-Fi ay nasa subnet ng 192.168.99.0. Remember, this is our placement from PLDT Fiber or ISP router to new Wi-Fi to PC. To solve this problem, need nating iset sa same subnet ng new Wi-Fi ang ating device or PC. Paano? But before that, pakisuntok mo na ng like button. Ngayon balik po sa video natin mga katropa, right click lang po natin itong network icon, select open network and internet settings, click ethernet, change adapter settings, right click ethernet, properties IPv4, properties you may choose the obtain and IP address automatically. Click OK and close to save the changes. But if it doesn't work, you need to manually type the IP address according to new Wi-Fi subnet number. Technically, 
from new Wi-Fi's network ID na 192.168.99.0 and broadcast ID na 192.168.99.255, we can use IP addresses from 192.168.99.2 up to 254. Dahil yung 1, ginamit na din po ng ating new Wi-Fi router. And this example, I will use 192.168.99.12. Press tab key. Your default gateway must be 192.168.99.1. Sa DNS, you can use public DNS. Same as mine. Click OK and close. Now, let's try to type the IP address ng ating new Wi-Fi router. And yun, we are now in the login page. Dahil hindi po natin maintindihan ang language, check lang po natin ito. Click this and this one. Set password at least 8 characters daw para sure tayo. Uh, lagyan na lang po natin ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Yes. Actually, kagaw pa hindi ko pa talaga ito na intindihan. So, I'm just kidding and having fun. So, initializing, i-confirm lang po natin. And yun, uh, humingi siya ng password ulit. I-type lang po natin yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and log in. And we successfully log in. Now, i-translate muna natin ang language nang maintindihan naman po natin ang settings and features ng ating new Wi-Fi 3 dito router. Sa web address bar, navigate po tayo sa upper right corner. Click the kebab menu or the three vertical dots, settings, extensions, toggle the developer mode, search the Google Translate. If it is not working, click this hamburger icon, open web Chrome web store. You need internet connection for this to work. So check if you have internet connection at kung tama ba ang placements and connections po ng inyong routers. Search Google Translate. Click and add to Chrome. Click add extension. Yun, na-install na ang ating Google Translate. You can translate before logging in sa ating new Wi-Fi web admin interface. Pero sa akin, nag-login muna ako mga katropa. And it's time to translate the language of our new Wi-Fi 3 D2 router with admin interface. So, navigate po tayo sa upper right corner. Click this extensions icon. Select Google, select Google Translate. Search for English and click Translate. Yun. At least, maintindihan na natin. So, ito po yung security features ng ating new Wi-Fi router. It has a MAC filtering but it is not effective dahil blacklist configuration ang po yung nakikita natin, walang whitelist. Itong, dito naman sa access settings, dito po natin pwedeng i-block ang pag-access ng mga devices sa internet. Dito naman sa Wi-Fi settings, you can change Wi-Fi password, SSID, ng ating 2.4 GHz at 5 GHz Wi-Fi, including the guest Wi-Fi. Yung encryption po nito is already WPA2, which is good naman. Other settings na ating ni Wi-Fi, meron po itong PPPOA, port forwarding, DMZ, and wireless relay. Take note lang, huwag nyo lang pong i-turn on itong Smart Speed Limit Switch. Kung ayaw nyo pong matrattle down ang speed ng inyong internet connection. If I turned it on at mag-speed test po tayo, ito po yung kalalabasan. But if you turned it off, makukuha po natin ang gigabit speed ng one port. So my plan po is mga abot lang po ng 100 Mbps including the, the boost the speed boost ng PLDT. Pero sa ngayon po, minsan naabot po tayo ng 400, minsan nga 900 Mbps. I just don't know kung bakit, pero yan po yung 
speed ko sa ngayon. So, makukuha po natin yan kung hindi po natin i-turned on ang smart speed limit switch. Overall, new Wi-Fi is a good router. But, it has a bad stock firmware. Okay lang naman mga katropa dahil pwede naman po natin yung palitan. Which, nagagawa din po natin yan ng video.